Oh yeah, we're talking about it. I didn't want to talk about it, but I oh, kind of did want to talk about it. But seemingly nobody wants to talk about it because nobody uses it. Oh boy, I can't wait for the 105 DBV12 mains to comment on this video that they main this thing. Yeah, I'm sure there's people out there who use this, but I, I rarely ever see people use it. And I most certainly don't. The model is weirdly outdated and like the, uh, the magazine is just like a stick and that just, oh gosh, gotta put a little skin on it. At least then we have something kind of tolerable. But ah uh, yes, the DBV12. Actually, I just realized I gotta raise my volume up to like a million. Oh yeah, that does it. This is a really weird, like, general area of shotguns in this game. I say that because everything seems to kind of have a bit of a purpose. The KSG is for low levels. Oh god, I forgot about all these attachments. Just gonna take those off real quick. The Remington's just like standard pump action shotgun. KS-23M, more powerful, but slower pump action. You got your double barrels, your auto shotguns, and your nice even middle ground here. And this is just like weird magazine-fed, semi-auto, just kind of strange thing. It's got a really slow fire rate. It sounds like it's faster than it actually is, especially if you're somebody who doesn't know how to aim. And I mean, yeah, it can one shot fine, and it just kind of acts like a normal shotgun here and there. But it's just, God, it's just something about it that I just, I don't know. I don't know. I just, it just, it just feels weird to use. So yeah, there's somebody else over there. Come here, come here. What are you doing? Oh uh oh, it's even functional at a decent range. Like here, you could probably see. Yep, here we go. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm having a little bit of fun with this here, but I, I, it's just, I, I, I don't know. Everything else just feels a little bit more useful than this. Really want to talk about the stats, but I just cannot stop killing everybody with it. So I'm just going to keep going or I can't ruin my 14 streak right now. <laughs> Why is no one killing me, dude? There we go, finally. Only took me like 20 kills in a row. Okay, anyway, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me take off birdshot as well, because the default ammo is pretty bad for this. So comparing it to something like the AA-12, the DBV-12 has better close range damage, but worse range damage. So it's like, I guess the AA-12 is better for sniping, plus with the higher fire rate, maybe you have a better chance of hitting targets at a distance. And then the Spaz-12's got overall like uh, better stats, but like a slower fire rate. It's just, I don't know, it's, it's just, it's a weird like, Oh, no, that's the wrong gun. It's a weird middle ground to where it's like, it's not bad, but it's just, uh, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I said that the default ammo is garbage and I'm just melting people, but it's whatever. Weirdly enough, after using this for a couple minutes, I'm like actually starting to have a little bit of fun with it, but it still doesn't change the fact that it just feels weird. I don't know if it's because of my aim is just not super good and it's got the slower fire rate or what. I don't know. Maybe I just have to use it a little bit more. One of the interesting parts for me is this here, the 410 conversion, which basically, oh gosh, oh, I, I should get that, shouldn't I? All right, I sold a bunch of stuff. Let's get it. I think honestly, this is probably what makes the DBV-12 the most like just crazy thing. A three round burst shotgun. I mean, what more could you ask for from a shotgun? Hey you, yeah you. If you're enjoying the video so far, make sure to subscribe. It just takes like two clicks, come on. Big shout out to these people who are already channel members. And if you're really enjoying the video, make sure to join as a member as well. You get access to member only videos on other games that I play and awesome emojis like these. Now let's get back to the video. The shotgun shredder 9,000. I don't know what else to call this thing. It's just, this is just fun. I don't even know, dude. I don't even know, man. It's extremely loud and I, I'm running out of ammo very, very fast. But like, oh, there's just something so satisfying about having a three round burst, just shotgun that shoots super, super fast. This to me, I think I said it earlier, but this to me is the selling point of this gun because the other ones are just kind of generally better. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Uh, tech nine time. Oh, this is the semi-auto one. Okay. So damage goes kind of way down. <laughs> And so does your range, but you get three times the ammo. You get a three round burst, but look at your minimum time to kill. It goes from 0.72 to 0.18. It goes way down and that's good. That's good. You want faster time to kill. Yeah. Also, it has like a muzzle break by default on it, but then you got like the compensator inside of there. It, that's just weird. Oh yeah. We're putting a suppress. Oh, this is not the map for this. Uh Oh, whatever. We'll make it work. Oh, dude. Listen to that. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, hi there. <laughs> I just, I'm like scratching my face and I just see a little, little eyes looking at me. It's just someone's feet right there. Nope, this has, does no penetration. Okay. I see your feet, dude. Come on. Don't make me have to come up there. Yes. Oh my gosh. That's too funny. Look at my man, it's just chilling. Honestly, I mean, I know that this has kind of become more of a review of the 410 conversion, but there's really not much else separating this from the other shotguns besides being something that kind of looks like an AK, or I guess really looks like an AK, but it's just not super unique. Let's put a sight on this so we can actually see a little bit more here. This guy's lagging everywhere, man. Look at him go. It's a little bit of a shame too, because uh, it's a cool, it's, it's kind of a cool thing, I guess, in a way. But just by the fact that it's like just statistically normal, I guess average, there's really no room for this to be like one of the best things in the game. Except for the, the one guy who's going to get really angry and tell me about how this is the best thing in the game, but that's, that's fine. 
What's the two dudes doing? He's just chilling. Let me have that. This now. Oh my lord. Oh my god. What has he done to the MP7? I can't see anything through this. He's level 15 and has that. Oh my god. What a crazy man. I'm sorry. I just had to put my phone down there because I got another no recoil comment. <sighs> just a little disappointed. I don't know. I mean, honestly, I'm not going to judge people for what they use. I'm just, I, I don't know. It's still not really, it's still not really doing it for me. Everyone's got different things that they like to use. So like I said, I'm not going to judge. I'm not going to say your, your option is dumb and bad unless you're a zip 22 main. I mean, yeah, having three-round burst is a ton of fun with this. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it's just, it, it's pretty, it's pretty fun. <laughs> like, I don't know. Let's compare it to something like the Spaz 12, I guess. I mean, while the recoil is higher, it resets a lot quicker and it's always in the same spot. So I guess that maybe makes it easier to like have follow-up shots. Dude, I'm just, oh man, I'm really goofing up there. Oh, there's the MP7 again. So I guess that makes it like a little bit easier to like uh, snipe with it though, I guess since it resets easier. What is the freaking, what is the term for it? It makes follow-up shots easier, that's it. Let's go back to Bizarre, I guess. I do wish that there were smaller maps, but you gotta do with what you got, I guess. Or maybe let's compare it to something like the Remington 870 though. I guess you are getting a slower rate of fire, but it just feels like it handles better. That's more something that you kind of have to feel as opposed to describe. But like, I, I don't know. It just, it just feels nicer. Plus, I mean, uh, it just looks so cool. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Everyone's got preferences with stuff. But that still doesn't change the fact that I rarely ever see DBV-12s in multiplayer. Well, I say that like there's other game modes, but there is another. Oh yeah, we put slugs on it. Again, I'm not the most accurate person in Phantom Forces. Oh god, why do they have a map this big, man? I don't know where I'm going. But also like 87 max damage with like a 1.2 torso multiplier. I don't get it, man. Why do they have a map this big? I can't find anybody. Okay, so it's not entirely a one-shot, <laughs> but this is also decent. I guess realistically, this thing with slugs is better than the Spaz 12 with slugs. It's got the faster fire rate, and with that 410 conversion making it a three-round burst, like that, that's uh, that's pretty fun. Dude, this is actually gonna make me so mad. I hate whenever they have these massive maps where you just can't find anybody. I mean, it's, it's, it's fine, it's serviceable. It's a very average, sorry about that. It's a very average gun. It's not super special, it's just kind of a belt, uh, not belt fed, oh my gosh, belt fed shotgun. <laughs> it's just an average magazine fed shotgun type of thing. Like it's it's fine if you want to use it, but it's not like the best thing in the world. And I guess that kind of sums up the level that you unlock it at. You unlock it at rank 24, so a very early unlock, I guess I'd say. So a very average gun for a very average level. I mean, honestly, there's not too much else I can say about it. It's there if you want it, but it's just not super, you know, there's no real like massively unique features for it. Unless you really want a three round burst shotgun, in which case go for it my dude. Well, here you are. You made it to the end of the video. I appreciate you guys for sticking this far into it, especially with something that's just a little bit more, uh, more of like an average type of video. Nothing too fancy, nothing too interesting, just kind of a video, I guess. This dude's speeding up. What the heck, man? I just want to say real quick that I uploaded a Call of Duty video a couple of days ago. I don't expect COD vids to do super good at first, but if you guys could, I'd love if you checked it out. I'm going to probably have it up on screen right now. And if you guys have any other games that you'd like me to do videos on, uh, Battlefield 24 being one of them, whenever that comes out, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video and, uh, yeah, make Make sure to subscribe, make sure to stay safe, and peace. I'm lagging. Oh my god, I see how <laughs> you're slamming into everything. You okay? Uh, my, my GTA froze. Yep, you crashed. Did I? Yep, you got out of the car. Alright, the animals, you know what happens next.